do 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 I'm tired. It's my new theme song. Howdy. Hello. And welcome. I also have my age appropriate drink today. So, we're ready to rumble. And good thing we're ready to rumble today because we got some spicy, spicy things to talk about. Um, and yes, it is the promised video for uh, Long Gone Gulch and I am very excited to say it and also very excited to go back into the editing and see how many times I miss say Long Gone Gulch because it's going to be a hell of a hell of a video. Hell of a video. So, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Before we begin this video, I forgot to do my intro, so hi. Hello, my name is Amber, it's uh, good to see you. Uh, thank you for coming back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm very happy to see you. My channel lives up to its name, or these videos live up to their name. They are very chaotic reviews. Um, I do try to organize them, but they are oftentimes very disorganized, so. Uh, Long Gone Gulch has been a internet project uh, that has been tossed around on the, on the uh, animation sphere for a couple years now. Uh, back in 2015? Yeah, oh, uh, the Kickstarter was created back in 2016. Yeah, so in, back in 2016, uh, the creators, both Tara Billinger and Zach Bellissimo, which I love his last name, by the way, fantastic, um, created a Kickstarter project for their uh, own series, Long Gone Gulch. Now, for some background. Uh, Terry, Tara Billinger, if I'm saying your last name wrong, I'm really sorry. Um, Tara Billinger is the am animator from Disney's uh, series, The Wonderful World of Mickey Mouse, which if you haven't watched that, it's so much fun. It's a newer series uh, about Mickey Mouse and friends in a very fun, retro, kind of Saturday morning cartoony style, and I enjoyed it. I, didn't, I haven't watched them all yet, but it is very fun, has some really funny moments, and a really nice twist on the classic Mickey Mouse series. Um, as for Zach, he is an animator for Rick and Morty, uh, or at least he works on Rick and Morty. Um, Victor and Valentino, I've never seen it, and <laughs> Teen Titans Go. <laughs> so if you've got some thoughts on Teen Titans Go, I'm, mm, that's your problem, man. <laughs> um, I like the style of Teen Titans Go, though, so it is really pretty. Um, Back in at least 2010, they started throwing around the idea of creating a show together that I do know. Um, but it wasn't until at least 2016 when they started putting up a Kickstarter for Long Gone Gulch. Uh, crowdfunding for at least the next five years until we've gotten here to January of 2021, which we get the pilot of Long Gone Gulch. Um, I know it was really hype back in the day. Uh, I remember, I think, Saber Spark talking about it and a couple other um, animation review uh, channels. And I had kind of watched the trailer and I hadn't really thought anything of it. Um, I remember it dropping off for a while and then suddenly everyone's like, oh my god, it's here! Oh my god! Um, also, I was <laughs> subscribed to their Twitter without even really knowing it. So when I saw that it was like, it's coming out in like three days, I'm like, oh! Wow, that's been a while. <laughs> Time flies when you're an adult. So that leads us up to uh, 2021 January. And um, boy, that was quite an interesting time. Um, and I gotta say, I really enjoyed the video. For s just straight off the bat, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's a 21 minute pilot. So it's like your average cartoon uh, show not necessarily Cartoon Network length, but maybe like Nickelodeon length. Cartoon Network currently usually has like 11 minute episodes. Um, at least it was for like Adventure Time and Over the Garden Wall and things like that. So, um, but you know, it's a proper 21 minute episode. Um, and let's just get into the description of it, shall we? Snag and Rawhide, two sheriffs of the Gulch, uh, in the Gulch, after fighting off a series of thieves, are fired from their jobs by the town's mayor after the, for their unorthodox methods. After going into a saloon, both resolve for their fight, 
both resolve to fight for their jobs against a series of outlaws, which threatens to take over the small town. Um, so that's already exciting right off the bat. Let's kind of get into these characters, shall we? Uh, we've got Rawhide, who is a 16-year-old co-sheriff of the Gulch. Uh, she's kind of a loud, hyperactive, the strong girl type who uh, just is so full of optimism and um, raw energy, and she's just really excited and really obsessed with being a sheriff. Um, her father was sheriff of the Gulch before her. Um, we don't know what happened to him. He died under mysterious circumstances. We've seen his grave in the uh, pilot, so we know he is dead, or at least he's dead. <laughs> This is how it always works. Maybe he'll come back to life somehow. We don't know, but um, we know that there is history there. And she is voiced by E.G. Daly. Um, and that's pretty important because E.G. Daly voiced uh, Buttercup in the original Powerpuff Girls show. Uh, she's also voiced, who else? Oh, Tony Pickle from Rugrats, which I didn't really watch Rugrats, but Tony Pickle is pretty well known. So there's that. Uh, and then we got her cohort, Snag. Snag is a 17-year-old co-sheriff and Rawhide's best friend. He is more of a cool, rebellious character. So he looks kind of like a... Um, if you ever read the story Outsiders, The Outsiders, he's like one of the city slicker kind of guys, like the 1950s really cool pompadour hair and uh, leather jacket look. He's He's very much a biker style guy who cares about his hair, about thriller movies and uh, thrill seeking. Um, he's got he's got a comb called Ronit 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 Ronette. Oop, <laughs> Ronette. It's like a golden like uh, push up comb, um, and it's great. It's great. Um, he's voiced by Dan Danny Cooksey. Danny Cooksey didn't really have any big roles that I recognized him from. He did a lot of like background or single episode things or he was in like um, films that I didn't recognize. Then we got Mayor Rhubarb who is unironically one of my favorite characters just because of the kind of character he is. I mean look at this. You know there's no candy. It's just my b -b -b body. <laughs> Tell me he's not a lovable character. <laughs> he's so complicated. Uh, mayor Rhubarb is, well, the mayor of the Gulch. Uh, he is a spineless politician who doesn't really like Rawhide and Snag, trying desperately at all costs to find a different sheriff. Uh, mostly because they like to apparently tear up the town whenever they, you know, arrest a criminal. How dare they? He is apparently um, a jackalope. And if you don't know what a jackalope is, it's like a mythical creature of a rabbit mixed with like deer antlers. Um, and I think he's really cute. He, he is described as a neurotic little guy and he really is. He's very neurotic, very um, on edge constantly. Um, and he's just, he's an interesting little dude. Then you got Marigold who is his uh, secretary, who he has the hots for. She is also a jackalope, and she's more of the jaded, uh, sign in your name kind of person. She's, she's not having any of it, and she hates life. Um, and she really likes to rebuff, um, the mayor's advances. So, but also she's the kind of person who, if, if something benefits her in the end, she will probably jump ship and, you know, leave like she did when Mako took over um, the town. She's like, I, I did it for better health care. <laughs> like, he's like, isn't love the best medicine? And I'm like, such a politician. Speaking of which, uh, Mako is the main antagonist of our show, or at least the pilot. He is a walking land shark, um, probably related to a Mako shark. He obviously hates, um, Rawhide and Snag, um, we get a whole like battle between them in the beginning where <laughs> uh, Rawhide hides in this fish that is supposed to be his birthday cake, quote, birthday cake, um, and comes out and punches him and they were like, let's get revenge and take over the town and they do. Well, form's wrong. Composition's off. Tangent, tangent. Seems to celebrate a basic lack of understanding. It's perfect. And we have BW. 
BW we don't know too much about. She is a, um, hmm, they would describe her as a sardonic bounty hunter. She also is Native American. I didn't pick up on that at first, um, but I didn't really pick up on it all until I read the description. I was like, oh, she, oh, okay, makes sense. Um, so she's a Native American character. Um, She's also technically Rawhide's foil, character foil. Um, she's the kind of sly, underhanded, but also like kind of helpful character. She's not the antagonist, at least not yet, um, but she does like to antagonize Rawhide, who's just like, I'm, one of these days I'm gonna punch you. I'm like, I doubt it. <laughs> and if you do, it's probably gonna be once and you're gonna be real lucky but um i really like her um she's voiced by <laughs> amber mid thunder which i really like that name and the only thing i could find her from that i recognize was legion um so that's cool <clears throat> i liked her voice for the character i thought it was really fun um she's just like yeah um i don't know i'd love to see you try for now <laughs> like okay you just don't give a shit, and I don't blame you. One thing I do really love about Long Gone Gulch is that it is very stylistically similar to shows from like the late 90s to the early 2000s. Um, it reminds, the style really reminds me of Ren and Stimpy or SpongeBob sometimes, or uh, the Fairly Odd Parents. So it's very much got the Saturday morning cartoon feel. That textured, very art deco kind of feel. I guess that's the best way to put it. And I love it so much and the colors are so vibrant and the, I think they ink a lot of, they, color, they draw a lot of it by hand and then they put it into whatever program they use and go from there, which is really cool. Um, very, very fun nostalgia there. Um, I've got to say, I really, the story part is very much a pilot story. And if you don't know what that means, it means it's very tight, very, uh, trying to stick within a set limit of time. Um, interesting story, but kind of like, okay, I get the idea, but it's not a full followed through idea which makes me want more, which I think is definitely the point of having a pilot episode. You want to get the interest of uh, potential uh, producer studios and be like, here's an idea, here's what we can do. Do you want to <laughs> buy our thing and help us produce this? Um, so pr you always have to be, you have to keep somewhat of an open mind with pilots, kind of like with um, Hell of a Boss and Husband Hotel, which I like both of those things. I watch both of them. Um, I'm really, ex really excited for um, Husband Hotel to come out onto uh, A24 Studios. Very excited. Um, but yes, you always have to be really careful with pilots. I know a lot of people are just like, but this is so short. I'm like, yeah, it's a pilot. It's not supposed to be this fully fleshed out thing. If it was, there would be no need for a show. There'd be no need for a show. So it makes you want more. And I really hope someone picks it up. Um, I really like the characters as they are so far. I definitely, of all of them, want more of BW. I think she's very fascinating. She's like that mysterious character that you always are just like, hmm, what's your backstory? And then you get it like three seasons later and you're like, oh, <laughs> oh, I see. Um, I really enjoyed Mako. I kind of, even though he got eaten up by a sandworm, kind of hope he comes back. He was really fun. I really loved his voice actor. Who was his voice actor? Oh, uh, it's um, Eric Bauza, and he's Stimpy, funnily enough, from Ren and Stimpy. You know, I, I think a lot of the show has really got a lot of potential, and a lot of it is already really fun, and it makes me really excited for more. I'm interested to see what kind of format they would go with. Do they have a different villain every day? Do they follow a central story plotline? Um, will we find out what happened with Rawhide's dad? We'll see, won't we? 
Um, so yeah, uh, this is not a very long video because I know a lot of people have already done videos on Long Gone Gulch, but I am super excited to see where this goes. I highly recommend that most of you check it out. Most of you, all of you check it out because it is a lot of fun. They clearly put a lot of passion into this project and it would be a real shame if it didn't get picked up. Cause you do, I, I do like animation as a whole, but 2D is definitely my favorite. I, I, I have some places in 3D where I enjoy things like, <sighs> this is gonna, might piss someone off. <laughs> I like, I kind of like the style for the new Rugrats reboot. Uh, the 3D style, it is kind of fun. I like, I just like how it looks. It's not perfect. It's not super smooth and pretty, but I think it suits the Rugrats style. And also a lot of people are just like, we don't want a reboot. I don't fucking blame you. I don't want a reboot of a lot of things. I don't want a reboot of Powerpuff Girls. We got a reboot of Powerpuff Girls technically, but we're getting a CW one where uh, the Powerpuff Girls are coming back as jaded 20-somethings who are resentful of their childhood and I'm like come on you could use this money for something else so much better it could be dark and edgy I don't care but don't reboot something that we already love that is already a very fun colorful thing I don't want to see the Powerpuff Girls smoking and doing drugs or doing whatever the hell they're gonna do in this next video I don't they were fun they were fine we don't care <laughs> And if you were gonna do that, maybe do it in animation. I'd be a little more interested then, but as a t as like a central plot line, I don't really want it. Don't really want it, CW. Thanks though. I went on a whole tangent about Power of Girls, um, but I want more variety with shows. I'm done with a lot of the nostalgia trips that include reboots of shows. Like I think Ren and Stimpy's getting one. We don't need it. We don't need it. Don't want it. If for whatever reason one day someone reboots Adventure Time, I'm punching them in the neck. I don't care. Do not reboot Adventure Time. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, I'm excited to see where Long Gone Gulch, Long Gone Gulch, Long Gone Gulch goes. Um, it seems like a lot of fun and I think a lot of us will be really excited for it when it comes out. Hopefully it'll be in the next five years. I don't know. Depends on how production hell goes for it. And yeah, that's pretty much it I have on this. Um, I got a couple more videos in the works. I'm probably gonna edit, edit. I'm probably gonna record a couple more. So if you see me in the same outfit, uh, it's not because I just decided to wear the same thing three times in a row. Although, even if I did, it's none of your fucking business. So anyway, that's it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hope you guys have a great day night whatever time of day it is and um stay with stay healthy stay away from covid drink plenty of water and i will see you guys soon bye